Evening everybody. This is a little something different isn't it? Uh, a bit different from the norm. It is a Meccano product. At least at this period it is. It's a Baco building outfit as you can tell by the uh, rather large letters here. It's a number 13 and like Meccano sets can be added to with a conversion set as it says into a number 14 by adding a 13C so you can make bigger and more models. It's a building outfit but not like the uh, what I will say common plastic brick rubbish stuff. This is good <laughs> but I would say that wouldn't I. Now I don't know a fat lot about Baco at all um, it's something that I've always wanted to have a go at never got around to doing it some sets, when I had the urge to look for a set, were on the face of it seemed to be quite expensive. Uh, the older, the rarer, the better condition, as in everything, is more expensive. Some seemed to be a bit over the top. Some were looked to be quite dubious that they were complete. So I didn't want to spend a fat lot. Um, I don't mind spending a reasonable amount and then finding the odd piece missing. That ain't so bad as long as the uh, description for the sale, which was eBay by the way, uh, was um, honest. And on the face of it, this one is. I haven't looked at it that much. I don't know what age it is exactly. But this was 20 quid posted. 19.99 to be precise. I don't know if it was earlier this year or late last year. I've had it some time. And uh, I've n still not ever used it. I've, d I've never had the experience, the delight, or other otherwise, of building something with it. But it's quite neat. And what I will say, though, folks, I've got a bit of information off the website, just a little bit of outline information. Uh, and because of that, check out Baco.org.uk, the Baco Man. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, but there you'll be able to go through all sorts of stuff there. And there is another website that sells sets and parts. eBay of course. You do see it around at Meccano shows. And there's already some videos in the uh, show section. Meccano shows and exhibitions and that sort of thing. In that uh, playlist uh, you'll see the odd bit. Uh, look for Meccanuity um, last year, 2015 and uh, the year before. So, what is Baco? Well, it's Bakelite, very early plastic, which I think was invented in Germany, uh, the plastic itself. Quite a brittle plastic. Those of you of a certain age will remember radios and TVs being uh, made from it, or the boxes for them being made from it. This was invented in the 1930s, I believe, by Charles Bird Plimpton, and he had a company called Plimpton Engineering and they made uh, this stuff um, produced between 1934 and Meccano bought the company in 1959 uh, it was produced uh, and sold well certainly produced and sold till 1964 then although it was still available it wasn't really pushed that much so check the Baco.org UK website and you'll be able to find all sorts about it. Um, it's uh, an interesting uh, form of building set. Uh, building in, in a couple of ways of course. Building you actually build it yourself and of course you build buildings and there's all sorts to build. And of course, like Meccano itself, it's only really limited by the amount of parts you've got and your imagination. It's quite detailed. You see this image there. It's quite detailed. Uh, bearing in mind this set is something like in the region of uh, 56 years old, 57 years old. And of course, it's not the rarest and it's not the most expensive. Uh, you're going to have to look at the pre-war stuff. What you'll generally find is, I think, the darker red, like a maroon red, like roof tiles and things, pre-war, I believe. And the brighter red is post-war, but uh, who knows. Now, we'll have to try and do this. It's quite awkward doing sets with the, the tripod right above the uh, the object. So we'll try and do it and have a look at it. Baco set, so 20 quid, somewhere between 1959 and 19... 64-ish. Oh, we have got a guarantee slip. 
Uh, it's a bit smudged. Um, looks to be the January 60, uh, March 61, January 61. Looks like 1961 anyway. So the box is a little bit dog eared, but it's all there. I suppose I could patch it up. And the format, uh, I believe, pre war as well, you had a. Um, a certain set and you had a whatever new number it was X set to make it up to the next one so like Meccano then you could build up to the next set and so on and so on and so on we've got the instruction book here um, it looks like it's had a bit of use but it's, it looks like it's all there um, and it's a one for several sets we've got for sets 11, 12, 13 and 14 and uh, Got the rather angelic faces of the children. Uh, right, I haven't read any of this, so I won't go into it too much. It will be all day. Basically, you've got a. This is a good example, actually, and it, it tells you how to build, of course. So the basic construction is uh, you've got a base, which that's one there, and you've got a number of rods of different lengths. You slot the rods into the certain places where you want them and then you slot parts down onto the rods and then it looks like the roofs clipped together and obviously that will hold it all together now I have no experience at all I know I've said that already but I've no experience at all of doing it but they do really come into their own for Hornby Dublo and probably O gauge as well really do uh, basic stuff, we've got, uh, as I'm a signalman, I suppose these sort of tend to appeal, a suburban signal box. But uh, something like a village well, wayside calf, kiosk, bungalow with garden. These are all for to be built with Outfit 11. So I assume then that I can build all of these up to including set 13, Outfit 13 stuff and then we go on uh, station halt a driving bank okay uh, lifeboat station that's interesting beach observation post uh, there is a uh, railway book in all uh, there is um I don't know if it's this uh, uh, yes, it is, I think, that's one. Nice little sort of traditional looking signal box, very nice. And it's pretty much like Meccano, I suppose. Whether the pre-war stuff was like it, I don't know, but you've got like your overall image there, the parts you need, same as Meccano of the period, and then where to fit the corner pieces uh, and build it together. Uh, and then we, this is outfit 14, so I would need the, uh, what was it again? To make the 14, I would need 13C extension, if you like, conversion to make these. Uh, you see, they're quite uh, a little bit larger and more bases involved. Detached house, filling station, bungalow. It's quite neat stuff, it's quite detailed railway station. Uh, a bridge signal box, that's obviously got the bridge with the signal box on the top and the trains go underneath. Um, accessory outfits, parts contained in them. So very similar format to Meccano, whether the pre-war stuff was, uh, probably was, they probably took the idea, that format, from Meccano itself. Uh, we've got a, have we got a date code on here? According to this it's uh, August 60. So, according to the guarantee slip, no later than 61. So we'll pop that out the way for now. And we'll have a look at some of the parts. Of course, all these bags ain't original, but... Um, that's where to start. It's, all, it's like Christmas all over again. So, in here... It's a <laughs> we've got a... Just in there, a TV aerial. Uh, bay windows, posts, the end of the roof, the gable end there, triangular section there. Uh, what we got here. I don't know the names of the parts. Oh, bricks. You know, so you've got brick there. 
to slot in together, build your walls up. Different coloured ones of course. I don't know whether this is still Baco at this stage. It, 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 it's been a long time since I've looked at any bake, uh, Baker light itself. It's usually brown. So whether it's changed to a certain plastic, but I'll find out myself on the website of course. Uh, we'll have a look ourselves, get into it. More pieces. Uh, so when it was sold, I was sold, told it was complete, so let's hope it is. Um, roof sections. This is very light, very light stuff. So roof sections are there and brick pieces. Uh, more roof sections. We've got doors, window frames, other doors. And this is the base. And it says, uh, I don't think you can make this out, it says, uh, between the squares, Baco Meccano Limited, made in England. It was made in Liverpool as well. Whether the factory was closed and it was made at Bins Road or they continue to be making it at the original factory, I have no idea. So you slot the rods in there to form the main structure of your um, building, whatever you're making. We've got a thin one there. And another base here. It's got a few scratch marks on it, so I think it's been used, but uh, it's very light. Very well made though, very well finished off by the looks of it. Interesting, very interesting. No idea what the thin black one's for. Perhaps it just gives a different colour to the to the base. I'll tip that one up the other way like it was before. So I'm guessing in this box here are the rods. I so hope there's enough. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, it is heavy. That is heavy. And it hasn't been out on that end. Trying to do it without. Blimey. There's a few in here. I do apologise, folks, if I uh, do knock the camera. That weighs a ton. So you see, they've got thin rods there. Very thin rods. And what? Three? Three and a half inch long, those? Let's see what else we've got. More rods, different. Uh, I don't know if somebody's cleaned these up, obviously they're in an elastic band, they won't be original. They're very clean, There's a lot of the sets I've seen they will say like the, the, the rods are a bit rusty. Um, okay, what's these clamps for? Anybody got any ideas? Any Baco fans out there? Of course we all know it's better than the plastic brick rubbish, uh, the more common, popular one. We all know that, don't we, folks? Because it just is. Oh, a little tiny screwdriver. Look at that. Baco building sets. A little screwdriver. For those clamps. Interesting. More rods. Ah, now these will be to join things, I suppose. Join different sections together, I suppose. A little bit rusty, not too bad. And that's it. That's interesting. I wonder what it says in the instruction book about those. Nice box, nice, decent condition box. Let's not try and make it any worse or any damage to it if we can. I like that little screwdriver. So I don't know whether it was sold as complete, but you know, it was a fairly honest. Well, it was a very honest description and uh, it wasn't a mega price so it wasn't such a uh, you know it doesn't matter so much if there's like you know odd little piece missing so look at that tiny little screwdriver it doesn't look like it's had much use does it uh, if you look at the blade it looks quite good ha, that's neat I've missed something out there we'll put that away so yeah Baco Always, I've seen it years ago, with train exhibitions and sales and things, and uh, I thought, oh, I'm not going to go with that, but I don't want it to take over like, if you like, the Meccano has. Um, ain't room for both, certainly. Right, let's have a look again at that instruction book and see what it says in regards parts and stuff. So, 
Okay, description of parts. So yeah, roof, ramps, base, roof end, bay window, cover, um, steps, end brick, brick, half bricks, long brick chimney, doors, windows, canopy. So we'll come to the other side. Parts contained in main outfits. Okay. Um, okay, spare parts can only be obtained through your local dealer. I think we're a bit late for that, folks. <laughs> right then. The master building system for girls and boys, it says. Uh, right, well, I'm going to read it all through. Um, Glazed windows. Now I wonder. Oh yes, there is some glazing in there. See a bit of glazing in there. I bet that's one of the first things to go missing. Uh, the basic building instructions given on page three should be read carefully before you set out to build your first simple model. Come into one of the simplest, simpler models. That's fair enough. Um, Yeah, so corner tie bar to tie the corner in place. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Keep it all structurally sound. So, uh, yeah, and those clamps there are to clamp, those clamps are to clamp the bases together. Okay. Interesting, really interesting. I don't know how well it'll travel though to and from work for break time uh, fun. Uh, yeah, it's really nice, it's really, really uh, I suppose quaint, but certainly detailed, certainly quite detailed, but of course all your buildings will be the same colours. So there you are folks, as I say, check out the uh, website for Baco, I suppose there's more than one, um, something did come up on Wikipedia. Um, check out the uh, Baco.org UK website, um, and uh, well, we'll get to building something one day, but it's neat, isn't it? It's a bit different. And it's Meccano. Well, it was then anyway. So, folks, there you are. £20. Uh, it was a while looking to uh, get one at this price, a reasonable price. It was a buy it now as well, uh, which was quite handy. And it come very well packed, as you can see. It's all nicely packed anyway. And it was packed, the outer packaging was nice as well, which doesn't always happen. So, not bad. Uh, any experts on Baco out there, let us know what you think and any tips or anything about Baco whatsoever. That's it folks, see you again.